Moving on, the visible signs of Russia upping, out, uh, upping up its uh, offensive in Ukraine. Kharkiv has come in for repeated pounding over the last 24 hours. Russian missiles pounded Kharkiv for second time in the day on Saturday evening, causing massive fires in the industrial district. Six people are reported injured, with firefighters working to douse flames reportedly spread over 4,000 square meters. Well, earlier, Russia launched an overnight drone attack on Ukraine's Kharkiv and Dnipro regions, hitting critical energy infrastructure, besides commercial and residential buildings there. According to Kharkiv's governor, Russia targeted the city with two Iran-made Shahid drones, which had hated the industrial area, although Ukraine claims to have intercepted the Russian strikes. The Ukrainian president says Russia used eight missiles of various kinds and nearly 70 guided aerial bombs against communities and frontline positions during the day. After Ukraine's air force downed 13 Shahid drones that affected the Kharkiv and Dnipro regions overnight. In the Donetsk region, meanwhile, of eastern Ukraine, drone footage shows the extent of the devastation inflicted on Okri Retene village with most buildings and homes destroyed. While some still burn after Russia's assault, most of the residents have fled the area there. And this comes as Russian troops have been making advances on the battlefield. And the village has been on the receiving end of its military attacks for several weeks. Ukraine's military has, has also acknowledged that the Russians have gained a foothold in the village. For now, Ukraine is hanging on in Chasivyar if Chasivyar falls, Moscow can use this elevated position to hit a string of nearby Ukrainian military cities. Despite Russian forces advancing in the Ukraine's eastern regions, the recent arrival of U.S. arms could help turn the tide. The first supply of new U.S. military assistance have arrived in Ukraine as a part of a $61 billion package. They include artillery shells and long-range missiles, but it will take several weeks for weapons and equipment to reach the front line in large quantities. On the other hand, Russia has added Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to its list of wanted criminals, a move Kiev has dismissed as a sign of Moscow's desperation. Zelensky's name appeared on the Russian Interior Ministry's wanted list. Well, an online database of alleged criminals sought by the Russian authorities. It said that the Ukrainian leader was wanted under an Article 14 of the Criminal Code without providing any further details.